Well, that hearing only lasted just a few minutes as Olvin Daniel Argueta Ramirez waived his right to a preliminary hearing, but outside of the courtroom were the loved ones, the family and friends of Jose Guerra, who say they will be here every step of the way. Justice for a junior. Tuesday morning, family, friends and loved ones of 20 year old Jose Guerra wearing his face on their shirt stood outside the Prince William County Courthouse. Justice, Justice for a junior. Inside, Olvin Daniel Argueta Ramirez went before a judge where he waived his right to a preliminary hearing. However, police had initially charged two people, Argueta Ramirez and a 17 year old young man. Court documents from shortly after their arrest revealed that they allegedly told police they intended to rob Guerrero during a drug deal in a parking lot on December 21st. But instead, after an argument, they stabbed him over and over until he was dead, then dumped his body in Adelphi, Maryland before leaving his car back in Woodbridge. This poor young man was killed for $70. Victoria Paxton spoke on behalf of Jose's mother today. Last month, the family says they were told by prosecutors that the younger suspect was being released because of a lack of evidence. We spoke to Jose's mother that night. My heart drops. They're letting a murderer walk the street. I'm in fear. Others should be in fear too. We called the jail that day and they confirmed that the young man who has not been publicly identified because he was a minor was in the process of being released on March 24th. However, the Prince William County Commonwealth's Attorney's Office would not confirm if the younger suspect had been released, only saying the investigation is ongoing. Giro's family and friends say they just want justice. We want justice. Now this case will go before a grand jury in May and a trial date is expected to be set shortly after that. Argeta Ramirez's attorney declined an on-camera interview when we asked him this afternoon. In Manassas, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.